I'm here with 2014 forward Ethan Happ, uh, Wisconsin commit Ethan Happ. Uh, Ethan, just kind of talk about how AAU's been going for you through the spring and now into the summer. Uh, the spring went really well. Um, uh, we won two tournaments, I believe, and then we started having AAU practices. I rolled my ankle, so I haven't been able to practice with the team. And then we just had two practices before I came up here, and I actually got strep. So I haven't been really with the team much. This is my first time back with them, and it's been a lot of fun. Been committed to Wisconsin for a while. You're entering the, the live evaluation period. Is it a lot less stressful for you, knowing where you're going, all that kind of stuff, where your decision's taken care of? Yeah, definitely. I was talking to my teammate, uh, Dylan Sortillo, before the game about I asked him, is it, is it nerve-wracking nerve for you to see the sea of coaches out there watching you play? And he said, well, is it nerve-wracking for you to have know that one coach is watching you play, evaluating you? So it kind of goes both ways. Coach Close was here today, you know, probably just keeping an eye on you. I know that you're committed to Wisconsin, but what's the contact been like with them? You know, they check in on you. I guess what's the update with Wisconsin? Um, the head coach, Bo Ryan, would call me uh, maybe once every month, if that. So not a lot of contact with him. But then Coach Close will call me more often. Uh, he's actually the coach that recruited me. And then he'll come to a lot more of my games than actually Bo will. And I know that you made it to the uh, advanced camp. How did that go for you while you were there? It was a lot of fun. Um, I met some recruits that were younger than me. There weren't a whole lot that were my age. Uh, my team actually won the advanced camp uh, team challenge, so that was fun. And then just seeing the coaches again was awesome. I don't know if they get specific with you about this, but are they going to try to add someone in addition to you in this class? Or do, you, do they talk about scholarship-wise what they're going to do with your class numbers? They haven't spoken to me about it, but from what my dad has researched online, um, I think there's one. I think I'm the only scholarship available so far, but I don't know if they're going to pull one from a possible senior. I don't know what. I can. I don't have any clue. So. Sure. Have other teams come after you since you've been committed? I know I asked you a little bit before you said no, but have teams come after you even if you have been committed to Wisconsin? I'll get a call or two, but I think that they don't know. It's not from a highly ranked school. I think it's just they don't know that I'm committed yet. Sure. Or I'll still get letters. So besides that, no. And just what kind of stuff are you working on right now heading into your senior season this summer right now? Um, definitely ball handling and shooting. Um, but my main priority is defense. Have you talked to any other uh, you know, recruits from Wisconsin, any other guys that are headed to Wisconsin or just signed with Wisconsin? Have you built those relationships yet? Uh, I went up there for an open gym. Uh, talked with some of the incoming freshmen. I mean, even the whole team, but I mostly talked with some of the incoming freshmen. So that was a lot of fun. And then at the advanced camp, um, there were a few recruits that got offered that I've been talking to also. Listed at six foot eight. Now, do you still think you got a couple inches left in you to grow, or do you think you might be maxed out right now? Um, I couldn't tell you to be honest, because I usually I don't grow steadily. I usually just grow in spurts. So. Gotcha. All right, Ethan. Thanks so much for the time today.